I'm against fracking and unconventional gas extraction because I can have no faith in a system that strips all power and control from communities whilst giving oil and gas companies free reign to do whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. The recently passed Infrastructure Act allows drilling under people's homes without their consent. The Act also gives oil and gas companies the rights for, and I quote from the Act, passing any substance through or putting any substance into deep level land or infrastructure installed in deep level land. Any substance. Toxic waste, nuclear waste, any substance. Add to this that the industry is self-regulating and being large corporations put profit before people and health and it would seem all sense and reason and we have a recipe for catastrophe on a potentially apocalyptic scale. If enough of us stand together and recognise the power we collectively hold, we can safeguard a future for ourselves, our children, the planet and everything in it. We need to stand together now because there is no planet B. Mike was interesting. We'd like to a little comment about the security on the path here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Better social media is the use. Make sure there's as many people with their eyes on this as possible. We want everybody watching them. If they're making a mistake, we want to see it. We want you to see it. In terms of the key things I think people need to remember, um, you do not have to give your name and address to a police officer in almost any circumstances, other than if you're the driver of a car, uh, if you're stopped and searched. Um, even in the one case where, the, 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 in theory, they're allowed to, to ask you for your name and address, it's only for antisocial behaviour law, and in most cases, you're not committing antisocial behaviour and they've got no evidence that you are. So we suggest that to people, ask them, what antisocial behaviour am I committing? And if they can't answer, don't tell them anything. The other crucial thing is you have the right to silence. I know that the um, that has been eroded to a certain extent, but we strongly suggest to people that the that unless you absolutely need to, that you don't say you could give information to the police. You don't, as I said, uh, tell them stuff just because they ask you questions. They're certainly not allowed to go through your phone uh, unless you're under arrest, and even in those circumstances, only if they're looking for evidence. Um, and if you are concerned about officers being violent, you need to try and obviously make sure that you're uh, recording what happens. The, at most demonstrations now, there are legal observers. Make sure that you talk to them, make sure you get the information, make sure that you have, have a, a bus car with you if, just in case you get arrested. Um, and if you see anything, as long as you're careful and that you don't incriminate anybody else, if you see something like somebody lying on pinned on the floor by an officer, in some sort of painful pressure position and you're not going to compromise anybody else. There's nothing wrong with taking a picture and there's nothing wrong with using a video. That information may well, may well be crucial later on in not only in obviously getting somebody out of a, a potential criminal charge but you know in terms of suing the police for what is a breach of the human rights that I mentioned at the beginning. Um, those human rights are only valuable if they're defended. It's only if people are prepared to stand up for them and push back when they're, when they're abused.
do they become useful in any way? And that's kind of what you need to remember. You've got rights, but they're only really useful if you're prepared to exercise them. Um, and that includes the right to be able to protest. And, and if an officer says it, tries to restrict you from that, you need to be constantly asking why, why? Why are you asking me to, not to do this? What legislation are you, are you basing that on? Because in, in many cases, they have no idea. It's just about trying to intimidate, intimidate you or potentially, you know, just using an excuse of, of being an officer in the law and being somebody that's quite um, a position of authority to try and stop you from doing something that you're perfectly entitled to do. Uh, so those are the basic advice that I would give. And I think that if you maybe try and learn a bit, a little bit, if you're going to be involved in protests, maybe try and get along to a Know Your Rights session if you think that that might be useful. Um, but it, at the very least, have that basic information, a bus card with you, with the information about where you can get some help if you get arrested. That's the key thing.